Hi guys, it's me Sonia and I'm back with another scrapbooking process video for you. I am going to be um, scrap lifting this layout from Vicki Parker on Hip Kit Club Facebook group. And um, let's see what I can do. Let's go. I'll put you fast forward and we'll get this layout going. I'm using this paper. And I cut out the edge like she did, but she actually ripped it. So uh, I just did a clean rip. I'm going to be using a lot of mixed media. I have everything set up here. And let's see what we can do with this layout. Yes, um, I put some gesso on the paper. On the, yeah, on the, lay on the paper. I didn't know how much gesso I needed. But this week we're focusing on stencils. So I picked two stencils to use. Like right now I'm putting some modeling place on the stencil. On the stencil that looks like waves. Like the water. So I decided to put that there. My idea for this layout is um, using that rainbow paper. And putting the colors to match the rainbow paper. Um, you'll see more about it when I keep when I go forward to it. That's why I keep bringing it in and out because the blue section is going to be the water. And this stencil I got from Walmart and it's just circle stencils. And I thought I can put like little bubbles everywhere. So I'm using that stencil around the whole layout, adding some bubbles and just to add interest to the layout. It comes out really cool. I mean, you can't see it right now. This is a little bit farther, but you will see it on close-up pictures. You'll see all the little bubbles. And when I start painting it, you'll also see that. That's why I keep bringing in the paper in and out, just to see. And this, this, this layout took me about five days. Um, after the modeling paste was dry, I started applying the colors to it and this first the first color is a blue color shimmers and it's so shiny um let me see what color it is i used on um, jenny b blue which is one of my favorites and it's extremely shiny and this one's hint of mint and then i started with the pink and i believe that's cotton candy and the other one is called Pretty Little Pink. And what I tried to do was, like I said, match the colors of the paper. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do right there on that section. And I was just adding some water, adding to different kind of tones, mixing them, and then taking some out, putting them in. I was just really trying to match the, stri the stripes. Um, I also used their, um, a little bit of bright food shell. I used that one. And then as the purple, I used a Lindy's um, called His Hibiscus Rose. Then I said, okay, I don't want the blue mixing with the uh, yellow or the orange. And see here, right here, I tried to use that stencil, but it didn't work out. It was too watery and it just dripped through. So I just added the yellow, added a little bit of um, green, just, you know, around. The yellow was called, let's see, where, where are you? I know I got them somewhere. Um, okay. The green is called... Oh, I can't see it. It's a Shimmer Vibes. Something Frog. I cannot read it. It is... There's a lot of paint on it. And then the yellow one is Click A Do... Does. Click A Does. They're all Shimmer paints. And just one of the Lindsay that I used. Now, this is day two where everything's dry, and I decided to, I wanted to put some gold splatters, huge gold splatters around the whole layout. 
And that's what I did right here. Day three, I started gluing everything. I um, added the, the board that I wanted to add, like she had on her, um, on her layout. And um, what else did I do here? Oh, I distressed it. Yes, I distressed the whole thing all around. And I thought it came out cool. But there was something just um, hitting me in the back of the head, and it's the line. I wanted to add something there. There was something missing. So I kept going, and I um, kept working on my photos. I put them on tissue paper, and then I backed them up with some cards from Project Life that came in the kit. This is a uh, hip kit club uh, items that I'm using for July. And I thought that little picture frame, I cut it, opened it and cut it up because I wanted to focus that picture on me, on my two girls. So that's what I did. I added the picture frame, then I added some tissue paper. I No, I think this one, I didn't add tissue paper. No, I just left this as it is. But I did distress this. I backed them both with foam. And I started to addition where they want where I wanted them, and I wanted them in the water since we were in the water. Um, I cut up the uh, one of the Project Life cards that had the July on it. I also addition these hot hot hot. It was one of the Project Life cards. Did not like it. Did not make it. Then I added the flowers that she had, and they didn't match my background. So I'm gonna leave them there for a little while, but then I'm gonna take them out. And I'm going to put something different. Um, and yeah, I keep trying and trying matching them. And no, they didn't make it. They didn't make the cut. So I took them out. Then I went through the, the Hiccup exclusive die cuts. And this is where I began to decorate my page. I love the bird. This, I think he's a toucan bird. I'm not sure. And they it had a they had a sticker that said um, by the pool. That's my title. I used that one as my title. I use a word phrase on. I use yeah. You see, I'm additioning the bird on the bottom, but he doesn't end up in the bottom. He ends up in the other corner, in the high corner, because I thought it was real busy in the bottom with all the die cuts. So I decided to put him on the top just to get some balance. Um, I added the the palm tree, just like she had it, and in addition, all these little pieces, flowers, and tried to match them up. Um, this is day five. This is where I'm really gonna settle and glue everything down. So I put it in because I wanted to show you um, some of the stuff that I did. And I, like I glued in where they went. In day six, I went through all the embellishing stuff that I had and the ones that I added. I had some Dear Lizzie, Sunny Days, um, Phrases, um, you name it, I had it. So um, here, everything is glued down and foamed and there's a lot of dimension. Oh, and I took, the, I took it to the sewing machine. I did a very crazy border around it just to add interest but it was wonky it wasn't straight so i did that and a couple of little things that i pulled up from the sticker sheets just little flowers maybe and i didn't find anything else now i wanted to use really wanted to use a big title but then i decided no i like the title by the pool because that's what we were so here are the still shots i hope you guys enjoyed that layout this is for um the off the board wednesdays and look at all the dimension and i will see you guys in my next video have a great day subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet hit the bell button notifications of my videos and you guys have a great beautiful day thank you